welcome to my first ever self-tape. So a few clients asked if I could record some meditation videos for them to do on lockdown and I've decided to go all out and make a short series of guided meditations and videos on self-development and dating. So if you'd like to be notified when they're published, you can subscribe just here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Minnie, I'm a self-development and dating coach. I'm also a qualified meditation teacher. My background is in Vipassana or insight meditation and the principles of meditation are at the core of all of my self-development coaching. So I'm always banging on about it. Um, I thought I'd do a short introductory video for anyone completely new to meditation, starting at the very beginning and addressing the question, what is meditation? Uh, because one thing I've noticed over the past decade is that when I ask new clients if they meditate, they often say things like, no, I've been meaning to, but I just haven't had the time, or no, I tried it once, but it made me really anxious, or I tried, but I just couldn't stop thinking. And these kind of comments made me realize there's a lot of misunderstanding around meditation in the Western world. Um, because meditation is not complicated to learn. It's not time consuming to learn. And saying you can't meditate because you can't stop thinking is like saying you can't shower because you're too dirty. Um, similarly, if you get anxious when you meditate, it's important to realize that the meditation isn't actually causing that anxiety, it's just creating a space for you to become aware of anxiety that's actually already in you um, and that needs healing. So the general rule with meditation is that the more you resist it, the more you actually need it. So pay attention to anything causing that resistance. Um, there's a nice saying in meditation that everybody should meditate for an hour a day unless they don't have time, in which case they should meditate for two hours every day. And the more you meditate, the more you realise how true that is. Um, also, it doesn't need to take long because you can meditate for 30 seconds if you want to. Because meditation in its purest form is literally just the practice of developing conscious awareness. So people tend to think the whole point of meditation is to relax and find some sort of blissful state and that they're failing if they experience anything else. But if we follow the original teachings of Buddha, we're not actually trying to obtain any kind of particular state. Blissful feelings might be a nice side effect of meditating sometimes, but there's no such thing as what should happen when you meditate. The whole point is that we're letting go of any judgments of good or bad, and we're just observing what is. So we're not trying to suppress thoughts or emotions from arising. We're simply trying to maintain conscious awareness and observe whatever comes up without judgment. If thoughts do arise, we want to recognise that they're just thoughts and nothing else and just allow them to pass by like clouds without feeding them with our attention or giving them importance or accidentally getting caught up in thought streams that make us lose that conscious awareness. So why do we want to develop conscious awareness if it's not going to be blissful? Well, with awareness comes choice. When we become aware of the current unconscious psychological processes that create our life experiences, then we have the choice to override them and become conscious creators of our lives rather than victims of our circumstances. So for that reason, taking responsibility to develop our awareness is a crucial foundation of any self-development journey. Now, I'll go into the benefits of meditation a bit more in another video, but this is just gonna be a very quick introduction to taking that initial journey from the external world into the internal world and we're going to do this with a simple mindfulness meditation of the breath. So the breath is a very useful tool in meditation. It can act as a sort of gateway between the conscious and the unconscious processes of the body. So it's the only unconscious bodily process that we can easily take into conscious control and observing the natural breath can reveal a lot of insight into the relationship between the conscious and the unconscious. Okay, so we'll start there. Um, just bring yourself into a comfortable seated position. You can sit however you like, but try to have your back upright. And then just gently closing down the eyes and allowing yourself to make the transition from the external world to the internal world. Bringing your awareness to the end of your nose 
gently begin to observe the natural breath, becoming consciously aware of this unconscious process. Noticing that you don't need to do anything to control the natural breath. You can simply let go of any effort or involvement and become a passive observer of this natural process that's looking after you. Simply witnessing the incoming breath and the outgoing breath. The incoming breath and the outgoing breath. Noticing is the breath shallow or deep? Is it fast or slow? Does the air flow easily or is it labored? Is the air flow even or uneven? not judging anything as good or bad, but simply observing what is. Keeping your attention with the breath. thoughts do arise in the mind, try not to give them any importance. Maintaining conscious awareness and simply allowing the thoughts to fade or pass by. Sometimes with this practice, after a while, you may become aware that you've lost consciousness of the breath and been caught up in a thought stream. If this happens, don't worry, it doesn't mean you're failing. Without judgment, simply return your awareness back to the breath and continue the practice. Recognizing that this is the practice we're trying to strengthen of regaining awareness from unconscious thinking and consciously redirecting it in the direction we choose. I'm going to leave you here for a minute, so on your own, continue to maintain the awareness of the breath. Observing the incoming breath and the outgoing breath. The incoming breath and the outgoing breath. incoming breath and the outgoing breath.
Noticing the sensation of the breath around the nostrils and the upper lip. in your own time, slowly bringing the practice to an end. And when you're ready, gently blinking open the eyes and bringing your awareness back to the external world. And that's it. The practice of meditation really can be that simple. So we'll go on to some longer guided body scan meditations in the next video. But for now, just try to create a few opportunities each day to just pause what you're doing and just hold your awareness on conscious breathing for just a couple of minutes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, then you can leave a comment below or you can email me at info at mini-lane.com. Thanks for watching.